Welcome guys to ILW Vengeance. We are live here from Seattle, Washington, and we got a jam-packed show for you. Championship matches, rivalries, it is all on the line and everything will be settled tonight. But real quick, we're going to take it to the ring for our broadcast colleague, Bruce Buffer, with our introduction. Thank you, Bruce, and we are going to kick off tonight with the World Heavyweight Championship number one contender match between that man, Kenny, by God, Omega, taking on our tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Both these men believe that they are the best in the world, and tonight they are settling that once and for all. Kenny Omega hasn't had a lot of luck as of late he is trying to change that tonight up against Roman Reigns he believes that he is not only the cleaner the best belt machine but he is the best in the world but that man Roman Reigns being accompanied by the wise man Paul Heyman doesn't believe he has to prove anything he knows that he is the best and he wants us all to bow down and acknowledge him as our one and only tribal chief in professional wrestling. Can Kenny Omega take down the self-proclaimed god of our sport? Roman Reigns has beat the likes of The Rock, John Cena, Brian Danielson, Braun Strowman. Many, many of men have fallen to his feet, will Kenny Omega be added to that list? And now we ring the bell. Roman Reigns already talking shit, but it does not pay off with that huge feet trigger to start off the match. This could be over before it even starts. Roman Reigns kicks out. That is that is actually unbelievable. V trigger this early straight to the chin of Roman Reigns. Kenny Omega knows he cannot play around because Roman is powerful. Roman knows and thinks that he is almighty. Listen to Roman Reigns talk his trash. Roman Reigns already taking it to Omega, but Omega will not go down without a fight. Kenny Omega goes over the top. Turns Roman Reigns around, but gets a backdrop for his troubles. Omega was trying to outsmart our tribal chief. That did not play out for him. But now, guys, look at this power. Crucifix power bomb already. Roman Reigns is not playing around with Kenny Omega. Just going to toss him around like the rag doll he believes Omega is. A strong shot to the jaw. Roman Reigns once again talking trash. Roman's got to stay on Kenny Omega though. He's not to be taken lightly. Roman Reigns off the ropes. Went for that big clothesline. Got a huge Double underhook suplex. But Roman Reigns pulls him in for a single arm power bomb. Drops Omega on his head. He's talking shit right now. Roman Reigns, I definitely feel, needs to be paying attention to Kenny Omega a lot more than he is. Otherwise, we might see the Tribal Chief fall tonight. Omega blocks that closed line. Roman Reigns going for a gut wrench slam. Omega reverses, hits a super kick, and sends our tribal chief to the outside. Roman Reigns on the outside. Listen to this crowd in Seattle. Amping Kenny Omega up for this huge Terminator dive. Roman 
Reigns on them outside. Omega getting a full head of steam ahead of him. Huge Terminator dive. Omega though landed on the back of his head on that concrete. We're gonna get to see it again. Once again, that crowd was firmly behind. Kenny Omega winds up, gets a full head of steam. Watch how Omega's head bounces off the concrete though. Paul Heyman trying to distract the referee so, so Roman Reigns can get up. We don't want this to end in a count out, but Omega gets up first, sends him into our timekeeper's area. Roman Reigns is getting is getting taken taken advantage of right now. Omega placing Roman on that timekeeper's table with a huge double stomp through that table. Guys, it looks like Kenny Omega knows he is not going to be able to match the power. And he doesn't believe that that speed of his is going to be enough, so he's got to do whatever it takes to take down the trial of truth. Look again, that double stomp through the table. It looks to have taken a lot out of Roman Reigns. Both men just barely getting in the ring. Omega, though, showing his power of his own. Gut wrench, power bomb to Roman Reigns. Could it be it? I doubt it. Once again, Roman Reigns kicks out. But it takes all the energy in the world just to kick out of a move like that. Kenny Omega calling for the V-trigger. He misses Roman Reigns. It's out of the ray. Roll up into a power bomb. Omega once again dropped on his head. Both men are down. Omega looks to have had all the life taken out of him. Roman Reigns getting prone in the corner. It's like a lion hunting his prey, ready to, ready to pounce, ready to take him down. Roman Reigns calling for that Superman punch. Reigns just not the shit. Right out of Kenny Omega. What's Roman? Roman's paying attention to Heyman. Heyman's on the phone with somebody. What does Heyman have up his sleeve but the distraction? Help Kenny Omega. Paul Heyman, though, has got the ankle of Kenny Omega. The referee, Kenny Omega, distracted by Paul Heyman's trickery. And there goes Roman Reigns. Went for that clothesline on Kenny Omega, missed, hit the referee, but Omega with a huge V-trigger. Oh my God, Solo fucking Sokoa running into the ring. Samoan drop to Kenny Omega. Of course, we couldn't just have a straight up match. Solo Sokoa with that, with that spike to the throat of Omega. Roman Reigns can't do nothing on his own. He always has to have somebody come and clean up his business, clean up his mess. And once again, that man is Solo Sokoa. Roman Reigns with a spear. But we have no referee. Referee John Cohen slid into the ring. Omega kicks out at the last possible second. Look at this spear taking everything out of Omega. If there was a referee available at that moment, this could be over, guys. Roman Reigns with a huge urage slam right there. But Omega has the urge to fight back. That quick combo to Roman Reigns with the Tiger Driver. Could this be it? He just planted Roman Reigns on the top of his head. The Tribal Chief kicks out at the last second. Omega thinking, what does he have to do? Look at that spike right on top of his head. The Tiger Driver is nothing to be fooled around with. It's ended many immense careers. But Roman Reigns kicked out at, at 2.9. I haven't seen a closer kick out. Roman Reigns catches Kenny Omega out of midair with a spear. He just cut that man clean in half. 
and Roman Reigns is the number one contender for Randy Orton World Heavyweight Championship. That is if Randy Orton can beat Adam Cole tonight. Guys, I want you to take another look at this spear mid-air. It looked like Kenny Omega was going for that drop kick he does to the back of his opponent's head. And Roman Reigns literally split Kenny Omega in half. And now we got our wise man trying, trying to let Roman Reigns know that he just took down the cleaner. Paul Heyman acknowledging Roman Reigns. Solo Sokoa acknowledging Roman Reigns. But look at the damage done to Kenny Omega. Guys, we got a friend of the show, AFW. He has SummerSlam coming up, and in his headline match, Bret Hart takes on Brian Danielson for the World Heavyweight Championship. Make sure not to miss this must-see main event from two of the greatest.